Repairing modern vehicles can be challenging due to the quantity of vehicle systems and their complexity. There are so many different systems on so many different cars. Part of the diagnostic process is to become familiar with the system prior to starting diagnosis. After all, you can't fix it if you don't know how it all fits together and works. It's in this video you'll learn how to find out the components that make up a system using system description and some important points to consider when testing using test instructions, which is what we'll guide you through first. Our choice from the section options is test instructions. The initial screen warns that components whose construction includes firing pellets should not be measured. It doesn't say why, but in some instances it's possible to deploy a device with a test meter, which is something you definitely don't want to do. It then shows a list of the components where this could occur. Additional information is available by selecting Continue. The display is now divided into two. On the left is a set of test instructions with the supporting diagram to the right. This is the kind of useful information you'll find throughout troubleshooting. The text outlines how the test should be carried out and in this instance directs the technician to only carry out resistance and continuity measurements on the wiring harness. As the control unit plug has an integral shorting bar, the technician is also made aware that this could be the reason the igniter circuit resistance is not attained, and shown how the use of a cable tie could be used as part of the shorting bar test procedure. Selecting Continue advances to the next display where you have the option to look at similar information on testing either the power supply or how to carry out tests for shorts to positive and ground. Choosing continue once more returns you to the section options. That gave you an example of how test instructions could help. We'll now take a look at how using system description can assist in familiarising yourself with the system prior to diagnosis. Choosing System Description from the Section Options displays the initial information screen. You're given a brief overview of the system operation, followed by a list of components that make up the system. As you've seen previously, the icons to the right give access to further information where available. Continue brings you to even more components that are integral to the system and beneath this, a list of other systems that the airbag control unit interfaces with. That's some great information, but it's only the tip of the iceberg. The reference info button at the bottom of the screen gives you shortcuts to electrical terminal diagrams, as well as installation position and removal instructions both of which will help build confidence if read as part of your diagnostic process. We have separate videos on those later in this section. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you'll get into grips with the depth of information available. Our next video introduces guided troubleshooting. So if you have a few minutes to spare, why not take a look?